Hello, it's Kyle here. I'd like to talk about media literacy. Uh, media literacy is something that I've been interested in as far back as I can remember. Back in grade 11, which is more than half my life ago, well, I don't like to think about that, I took my first English media course in high school. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the term, English media is like regular English class, only instead of analyzing books, students study albums, photographs, paintings, movies, television, etc. I signed up for this class because I'd always found it interesting how the media could shape the message. I wouldn't go so far as McLuhan and say that the medium is the message, but I certainly can't deny the huge impact a message's means of delivery has on shaping the way the audience responds to that message. This simple change in the way of thinking about something can also change the way we work with these ideas in our heads. Um, I find older people sometimes have this idea that English media is just an excuse for those darn kids to get out of reading books. But I disagree. People today are subjected to far more ads, more TV, more images, more photographs. Um, we see far more of this than we do of books in our day-to-day -day lives. And I believe it's critical that people be given the mental tools to identify the ways they are being manipulated through all forms of media not just books. If you're looking for some examples of how media can shape things, um, if I want to appear highly authoritative and truthful on a subject, I can opt to use the written word, which people tend to take more seriously. If it's written down, it can't be made up. On the other hand, if I want to manipulate an audience's sense of empathy, um, I can choose to use video with a composition focusing on my eyes and I might speak slightly more softly. Or I can tone that down by putting on some sunglasses or something. Another technique, um, if I'm interested in consensus building, I can speak with a, a rising intonation as, as if each declaration is a question and I, and I can bring people closer that way. Or I can speak flatly, or even with a descending intonation to demonstrate that I am the authority on a topic and I don't care what you think. These are techniques that just simply do not apply to the written word, but media-savvy people who know these tricks can use them to trick you into thinking the way we want you to think. There are also infographics that can break down incredibly complex situations into something that can be more easily managed. Young people are more media-savvy than ever, and part of this is because English media is more common now than it was in the past but I think it's also because kids today just simply have to be 